Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about delete and elements from an array. Suppose if I enter the number 5, or uh, then I enter 5 elements 11, 12, 4, 5, 6. So I do, I'm going to delete to 4 uh, elements into the array. So I enter into the elements to delete. So I enter 4. So the output come 11, 12, 5, and 6. Suppose if I enter the elements 11, 12, 4, 5, and 6. So I'm going to enter. So I enter the elements to delete. So if I enter 13, so I do the output come 13 is not present in in the array or suppose if I enter the number at your 6 and uh, 6 elements I enter and here enter the elements to disk so at here I enter 6 so 6 is 2 times so I enter here or 6 uh, when 6 is found it first time so that all uh, elements delete from the array so the output come 11 12 4 5 and this 6 remove and uh, this or percent into the array so the output come this one Next, I'm going to discuss about the drive method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main method. Here, after that, coincide. So, I have taken integer array type variable a or r and I have given the size 55. So, maximum you can enter 55 elements into the array. So, first variable is a or r and here, after 
in this way type variable i have taken i n l o c s t blank so first is n next of blank here after s t and i Here after control comes to this point, console class to try it method. So whatever you double code that display into the output screen, enter the number. So this or display into the output screen. And here whatever I'm going to enter, so that received by n. So I'm going to enter n value 5. So I to console dot read line. So this accept a string value and by using int dot part, so that convert into integer and that is to into n. Here after console class dot write line method, so this or display into the output screen into the elements and here control comes to this point for i value start from 0. Check the condition 0 less than n value, 5 condition is true that coincides. So I do a dot r i equal to n dot parts console dot write line. So this accept a string value and by using n dot parts so that convert into integer. So that accept a dot r 0 position. So I do I'm going to enter making the array so at here this is a zero index here one two three let's enter it was zero percent new element so at here i'm going to enter four now next to that curve increase the value of i so i is now one check the condition one less than five condition is to that coincide so let's enter it was one percent new element so I'm going to enter 1.9. Here after I increase, so I is 2 now. Check the condition 2 less than 5, condition is 2. So let's enter it over 2 percent new element. So I am going to enter 13. And here after I increase, so I is now 3. And check the condition 3 less than 5, condition is 2. That coincides. So let's enter it over 3 percent new element. So I am going to enter 5. Here after I increase, so I is 4 now. Check the condition for less than 5, condition is 2. So let's enter 8 over 4 percent new element. So I am going to enter 12. Now I increase, so I is now 5. Check the condition 5 less than 5, condition is not to not coincide. Here control comes to this point. So I tell console class to try time method. So this or display into the output screen, enter elements to delete. And here, whatever I am going to enter, so that received by st. So at here, st value, I am going to enter 13. So yeah, here, control comes to this point. So at here, I will start from 0. Check the condition 0 less than n value 5. Condition is to that coincide. So at here, if a double or 0, double equal to st. So 0 position is 4. 4 double equal to 13. So that's not to not coincide. So here, after loop continue. So that again go up increase the value of i so i is 1 now check the condition 1 less than 5 condition is to that coincide so at here check a double or 1 position double equal to st so 1 position is 9 st value is 13 so 9 double equal to 13 that's not to not go inside here after that increase the value of i so i is 2 now check the condition 2 less than 5 condition is to that coincide so at here if a double or 2 position double equal to st so 2 position is 13 and st value is 13. So 13 equal to 13. Condition is true. So that coincides. So at here flag is now 1. And i value go to LOC. So i value is now or 2. So 2 go to LOC. So LOC is now LOC variable become 2 now. Here after break a statement comes. So break a statement comes. So that terminate the current for loop. So this for loop, this loop that terminate. Now control comes to this point if flag double equal to 1. So flag value is 1 now. Check the condition. Flag is now 1. So here after that go. So i go to LOC. So LOC is now. i value is 2. So 2 go to LOC. That's LOC is 2. So here LOC value go to i. So LOC value go to i. So 2. Here after check the condition 2 less than n minus 1 n value is 5, 5 minus 1, this value is 4. So 2 less than 4, condition is to that coincide. So I tell, if a double r i double equal to a double r i plus 1. So i value is now 2, 2 plus 1, 3. So here, yeah, a double r 3 position value equal to a double r 2. 
So three position value is five. Five move to there. And here after loop continues. So loop uh, i is now three. Change the condition three less than four. Condition is two. So that coincides right here. Eight over three plus one. So eight over four position value go to eight over or three. So four position is so uh, twelve. So twelve move to this point. So here after i increase, so i is now four. Change the condition four less than four. Condition is not true. Not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. So at your console cost or try time method. So this are displayed to the output screen. So at your new array elements are. So this is a zero index. Here one. Here two. And next three. So four zero index four nine. So since five move to two location. So at your five move. And or twelve move to three location. So I have twelve and rest till fifty four. So I have given the size fifty four, fifty five. So till fifty four that is to null. So eight over four position that is to null character. So I have this all displayed to the output screen. Here after control comes to this point. So I have i value start from zero. Change the condition zero less than n minus one. So four n value is five. Five minus one the value comes four. So zero less than four condition is to that coincide. So I have console cost dot write method. So that display it was zero percent element. So zero percent is four. So four display. Here after I increase so I is one now. Check the condition one less than four condition is to that coincide. So that display it was on one percent element. So nine display. Here after I increase so I is two now. Check the condition two less than four condition is to that coincide. So that display it was on two percent element. So five display. Here after I increase, so I is now or three. Change the condition three less than four. Condition is true, so that coincides. So that display eight or 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 three position element. So three position is or twelve. So twelve display. Here after I is now four. Change the condition four less than four. Condition is not to not coincide. So since if condition is true, so that not go to else part. Here after control comes to this point. So at your console dot data method, so this take one input from keyboard and turn it to the output. And next that out from main method. So this is the element to I into four nine thirteen five two m. And here, or uh, new array elements four nine five two m. So thirteen elements I have to delete. So this are element deleted from the array. So this is the try and method of this program. So suppose if you enter none matching or none, the element is not to store in the array. So suppose uh, if I am going to enter st values or six. So what will happen here? Control comes to this point. I will start from zero. Check the condition eight or zero position will equal to six. So that's not true. So st values so. Uh, Or uh, six and eight over zero percent four, so four double equal to six. That's not true. I increase. So next time that check nine double equal to six. That's not true. Thirteen double equal to six. That's not true. Five double equal to six. That's not true. Twelve double equal to six. That's not true. So when i value is now five, so five less than five condition pops. So yeah, if flag double equal to one. So if condition is not true, so flag is not. One so here that comes to as part here console cross to try them method so element st st value i into six so element six is not found and here after that display into the output screen element six is not found here after console dot read them so this take one input from keyboard and turn it the output screen so next that output main method so this is the try and method of this program so this time i into n value five so you can enter n value eight whatever you want. So if you enter n value eight, so you have to enter eight elements into the array, and uh, whatever elements you want to find or delete, so just uh, give any value of st, so that element delete from the array. So this is the try and method of this program. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week.